Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be uh, doing some work around the yard. We're pretty slow so far, so um, we're gonna get some grease on the boom of the rotator as well as the turret. Uh, those are kind of like a, more of a, well, the boom needs to be greased pretty often, but the uh, um, turret is like a six month thing. So we've had the truck for almost six months now, so we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, grease on the turret. So let's go ahead and pull this truck out, get the boom shot out, and we'll uh, walk you through how we're gonna do that. Underlift down. Get this out of the way. Not touching the ground, but low enough to where we can work on it. Make sure everything's free spooled. there with the remote. So basically the boom greasing procedure on this truck is you uh, go up there and there's four grease zerts and you put three pumps of grease into each zert, shoot the boom out two feet, retract it, repeat the process. Then you shoot out four feet and keep going until you have full extension. What that's doing is it's actually spreading grease along the top uh, rail of the boom in between the wear pads. So gets you a nice layer of grease and uh, makes booming in and out under load easier. Just grab the remote. So here's the remote. To turn the remote on, you need to make sure that you're in rabbit mode, which is kind of uh, contradictory to what I'd think, but you're supposed to be in rabbit mode. You hit this switch to turn it on. Red light blinks. Once the red light blinks, you turn the stop knob to the on position it's connected. So now we can boom up and we get boom up. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and climb up there and uh, see what we got. So I'm thinking about something right now that might be an issue. When we have 34 feet of boom out, we're going to have 34 feet of cable out, um, which I don't want that scratch in the underlift. So I think we're going to put the boom off the side and grease it like that. Set it to three pumps. We're gonna go. There's two down in here. We extend the boom approximately two feet. Bring it back. One, two, three. We keep track of how many feet we're at. six feet out and as I retract it you can actually see what we're greasing we're greasing the top side of a wear pad so I can bring the boom back in and you'll see right there there's the wear pad and it has a layer of grease on top of it so that's actually what we're greasing right now is that top layer of wear pad
So what I'm actually doing here is when those cables hit the top of the sheave there, I know that I'm at the point to where which I was at last, so I'll just go two feet past that, uh, and that'll get me my two foot increments. That's basically how I'm doing it. So we got about you know, 20, 25 feet left of boom to grease, so we will go ahead and finish this up, and then we'll get to the turret. So we'll see you when we get to that. All right, so essentially what we're doing here is we're putting grease there and there, and then on the other side there's matching points, and we are going to rotate the boom 45 degrees and repeat the process, re rotate 45, repeat, until we uh, get a full uh, rotation out of it. So that's what we're doing. actually specifies to not use a electric grease gun because you will blow the seals out on the turret. So that's why we're using a hand pump, two pumps only. You can uh, blow out the seal by either over pressurizing it with electric or pneumatic pumps um, or pumping too many pumps into the system. So that's what we're doing. So So now that we've finished that, what I'm just going to do is take some uh, tub of towels and clean the remote off um, because we got it greasy when we were doing that. So we'll just give it a wipe, keep everything nice and clean. I got the remote off so we don't start moving stuff. So yeah, tub of towels work pretty good. Um, that's what we keep in the trucks to uh, clean our hands and whatnot after jobs and they do the trick for us. So I suggest checking them out if you uh, want to use something to clean your hands. And no, that's not paid or anything. It's just a brand I like. So just clean some of the grease spots off the remote. Get it nice and clean. We'll clean our hands, clean the control station, make it all clean, and uh, put the truck away. We got everything all greased. Um, while I was up there, I added a little bit of grease to the boom cylinders, just uh, just while I was up there, you know. Um, but they didn't really need them, but never too much, right? So just make the truck look run run in the best best shape it can. So yeah. All right. Well, the remote's pretty clean for my liking. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put the remote away and uh, then we'll see what else we can uh, get our hands on. I know we've been uh, working on getting the shop nice and clean, uh, throwing away a bunch of junk. So, what are you talking about? This guy over here, Roberto, talking crap. What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? Junior say it to my face. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go try to fix the uh, pressure washer. Oh take the bolts off, see if I can wind it back up or get it to wind. Gotcha. Alright. The, uh, the pressure washer that we use to wash the trucks, the pull string came undone, so we gotta fix that issue so we can get that up and running, because Roberto wanted to wash his truck. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away, and then we'll go ahead and see what else we can get our hands on, uh, what we can do today. So, yeah, see you later. Alright everybody, focus on me. All right, everybody, so the next project that we are going to be dealing with here is we got the rotator behind me here in the shop, and uh, I just received this package from Miller Industries. It's actually some Will, uh, Whelan M6 LED lights. These ones right here, the same style that are, I'll show you. The same style of lights that are right here. Uh, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is mount those to the grill here. Now the easiest way that we've figured out that we're gonna do this is we're going to tap into the switch and power assembly from the lights that are in the side of the hood and we're just gonna tap into here, run our wires into here, run the two lights together and it'll be a pretty straightforward install. So we already uh, identified our power 
and our ground. Now it's just a matter of tapping off of that into here and then wiring all the lights together. So we'll walk you through that. Okay, so we got this piece here that is actually what the light rests on, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as a template to basically mock up where I want to put this light. So I'm thinking right about here is pretty centered, somewhere in this region. Uh, and that'll allow us to drill the holes through the black uh, grating that's behind the chrome. Uh, that way we can pass the screws through and tighten it down. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do that and we'll show you what that looks like. All right, 17 and a half. Light one is mounted. We, we got the, all the wires passed through the grill. Uh, it hasn't been secured yet, but we'll run a screw through there, a screw through there. We're gonna work on that side before we tilt the hood back and run the screws through. All right, here's one light mounted. We're gonna work on that light now. And as you can see, we took screws and washers, ran them through the grill, and that's how we mount them. facing down. We need to figure out how to wire them. So the way this was wired is we have this gray wire here is our sink wire. So this tells our other light what this light is doing. We have the black wire here. This is ground. And then we have the orange wire, which is power. The only two wires that aren't wired to anything are uh, purple and white and purple. 
Purple is for like a low voltage system if you want to wire it to a brake light or something. And then this wire is the pattern selection. So basically we took the power probe and put this on setting eight. Did the same thing over there, just put power to it. Puts it on setting eight and then you turn it off, turn it back on with the sync wire attached and then it tell, this light tells that light uh, which what it's doing. So that's how that's wired. All right, good. Voila. Nice. Are they synced? They are synced. Yeah, they're synced. Cool. Yeah, they're really bright. So we still got some cleaning up to do tomorrow. We'll get some adhesive uh, zip tie deals and hide the wires back behind here, the grill. But for the most part, it's all done. The way we have this set up is we have it on aux one. So you hit aux one on the touchpad and the lights are on. So yeah. So we got some cleanup to do tomorrow. Uh, I gotta get some adhesive squares with the wiring loom. But basically we're gonna route the wires here, all the way over there, up Tozy's butt, and then over there. So. Hold on, did you get that? Do you approve this message? Okay, yes, I know the wiring is pretty ugly right now, but I had to uh, put it in a drivable fashion. So what I did was just took some zip ties and electrical tape and taped over some of the connections, zip tied it into place, running along where it's basically gonna end up just for the night, just in case we have to take it out on a wreck or something tonight. Uh, the truck is still usable, um, but what we're going to go ahead and do tomorrow, like I said, is take wiring loom and run wiring loom all the way around uh, to insulate the um, to insulate the wires, and then we're going to use adhesive zip tie squares uh, mounted all along here to hold that loom in place, and uh, then it'll be a nice install. So, bear with me, guys. Uh, we'll probably show you. Uh, wow. So. That noise is this door going down on the other side. It's very loud. Everyone knows it's time to go home when that sound goes off. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it there, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm going to the gate. Which gate? This one? Okay. Here, go ahead. Let's see what that does. <laughs> All right, everybody, well, we just parked the rotator in its bay. Uh, we got the lights installed. Like I said, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work, uh, finishing work tomorrow morning just to uh, finish it up, but the truck is drivable. The lights are in operation, so I'm pretty happy with them. The lights are really bright, and uh, we can mess around with the uh, flash patterns if we really wanted to. There's like 150 different flash patterns. It's insane. Uh, so those are the Wellen. Uh, I don't really know how to say that, but I'm gonna call them Wellen uh, LEDs. They're a pretty uh, reputable brand in terms of LEDs. Um, so yeah, uh, with that being said guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.